Does cutting up a soda can and placing it on your router's antenna actually give you faster Wi-Fi? Guys, this is so stupid, but this is one of those most requested things that you guys have asked me to test. So here we are. Let's find out if this is real or not. So how this works is you get a normal soda can, you cut it out, and you make a type of antenna out of it. And this is what it looks like when you're done. And the only thing I did is put some tape around the sharp edges, because those who know me know I'll probably bleed all over my keyboard. I also made two of these as my router has two antennas, and I'm going to put one on each one. And the idea is pretty solid. It's by placing them on the router's antenna, what you're essentially doing is shaping the Wi-Fi signal in a specific direction. The more the signal is shaped and pointed at a specific location, the stronger the Wi-Fi will be, resulting in faster Wi-Fi, resulting in faster internet. Just by looking at this contraction, well, you know what I think is gonna happen. So we've taken it this far, so let's see if the soda can hack actually gives you faster internet. I'm gonna run some tests. I'm gonna take some reading, one close to the router and one further away. Well, first test, no antennas, let's get a baseline. Okay, so here's my trusted Linksys router. I'm gonna fire up my app, it's my Wi-Fi analyzer and what I'm looking for is the link speed. So right now it says 866 megabits per second. Obviously I'm standing right next to it, but let's take it for a little walk and then see what kind of readings I'm gonna get further away from the router itself. What are we looking at? 325, 325, 468. Okay. So that was the baseline test. I get those speeds without any contraptions. Now, let's put the antenna cans on the router, face them towards me and run the same test. Whilst I do that, if you guys are stuck with your slow Wi-Fi, I've actually got free tech support, which is available for you to help you get that faster speed. Link is in the description below. It's with a company called My Computer Works and it's absolutely free. Okay, let's go for it. Alrighty, here we go. So one of my antenna made out of a soda can goes onto the one antenna of the Linksys router. Here is the second one that also gets placed there, peculiarly balancing, they're facing towards me. Same thing, let's fire up the Wi-Fi analyzer app on the phone and I'm getting 866 megabits per second. If I get even closer for the signal to be even stronger, nah, still 866 megabits per second. All right, back to the same spot that we had before to take the further reading and I'm getting at 526, 468, 468, 468, 468. Okay, so that happened. Absolutely zero difference. But now I'm curious, what would happen if I turn the cans in the opposite way? We know that Wi-Fi doesn't like interference. So technically, if I face them the other way, the cans will interfere with the signal and I should be getting a reduction in speed. Let's see. Okay, so this should be interesting. So let's turn the cans away from where I'm going to be standing and taking the reading. Also hit that subscribe button. Now is an awesome time to do that whilst I'm resting this antenna out of the router. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's right next to the router. Cans are turned away from me. What will the apps do? Oh, 866. Uh, okay, link speed is 866. Antennas away from me. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to our further point and then see what it does there. Will it make any difference at all? Oh, look at that. It actually dropped. 234. 234. 263. Okay, it actually dropped by quite a bit. That's super interesting. The cans are actually pointless unless you're deliberately trying to block your Wi-Fi signal and get slow Wi-Fi. Instead of messing with this nonsense, check out this tip over here of how to get faster Wi-Fi or watch this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch instead or just watch both. I mean, pretty much watch both and I'll see you in both of them. Let's go. Cool.